Hello everyone, welcome to Marvel Inside Out's another video. In this video, we are gonna talk about the confirmation of Spider-Verse by Sony's president, Sanford Panitched. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon to stay updated for future videos. Sony's president, Sanford Panitch, has teased there is actually a plan to tie Tom Holland's MCU Spider-Man to their Spider-Verse spin-offs. He recently spoke with Variety about the company's use of Marvel characters in their Spider-Man movies, including their plans for the story going forward. Panitch described their possession of Marvel characters as a Marvel Universe as opposed to looking at it as the Spideyverse. He even teased what fans should expect to see in the company's next movie, Venom Let There Be Carnage, hinting that people don't miss Spider-Man in the story. Back in the 90s, Marvel sold the film rights of Spider-Man and his associated characters to Sony Pictures. Those rights are still owned by Sony, and the precise relationship between the MCU and the SPUMC has always been a puzzling one, but they eventually returned to the negotiating table and struck a new deal that may well have changed everything. Recently, Marvel Studios president Kevin teased that Spider-Man possesses the superpower to cross between cinematic universes. Speaking to Variety, Sony's president, Sanford Panitch has confirmed there is a plan to tie the MCU and the SPUMC together. He said, we don't really think of our 900 characters as the Spideyverse. We have a Marvel Universe. The volume of characters we have, you know, wait until you see this next Venom. You don't miss Spider-Man in the story. But Panitch couldn't resist pausing for a beat before teasing, it'll be exciting if they do meet, right? There actually is a plan. I think now maybe it's getting a little more clear for people where we're headed, and I think when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed. Although it's not been officially confirmed, by now it's pretty clear Spider-Man No Way Home will introduce Tom Holland's Spider-Man to the multiverse. This would fit perfectly with Kevin's comments from back in 2019, when he teased Spider-Man can web swing between cinematic universes, presumably the Spider-Verse Sony is building simply exists in an alternate timeline, one Peter Parker will ultimately cross over with somehow. It's an idea lifted straight from the comics, where Spider-Man is a spider totem bound to the web of life and destiny, and he's been caught up in a number of multiversal stories. As Paintage notes, the overall shape of Marvel and Sony's plan is indeed becoming clear. Intriguingly, Variety suggests Panitch believes Craven the Hunter, recently confirmed to star Aaron Taylor Johnson as the titular big game hunter, will play a key part in this overarching narrative. Back in 2018, Craven the Hunter writer, Richard Wenk, suggested the film could adapt Craven's Last Hunt, featuring Spider-Man. This is generally considered one of the best Spider-Man stories ever told, and it should now be considered back on the table if the MCU and Sony's Spider-Man spin-offs can indeed connect. The possibilities are endless and tremendously exciting. So, finally Sony has teased the Spider-Verse, and it is sure coming, if not in the No Way Home then maybe in future but it's confirmed, do let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, do like and share the video, and for more Marvel-related news and updates, follow us on Instagram. We will see you in the next video. Till then, be safe and be marvelous. I don't wanna feel like you, I don't wanna feel like you Living my dreams come true, but my nightmares they prove Yeah, I don't wanna say that